they have money. Oil. Oil is everything. You can't print money as fast as you can get oil out of the ground. Power. They're trying to pin global warming on us. Never apologize, never explain. How long have we got? Between five and ten years before the warming becomes unstoppable. So this is the end of civilization. Burn up. God bless global warming. New drama, tomorrow at nine on BBC Two. A big step forward in the fight against climate change by the world's richest nations. Now, scientists are warning that the emperor penguin could be extinct by the end of the century because of global warming. At six o'clock, no more doubt, climate change is happening and we are to blame. Leading scientists predict that by the end of the century, some parts of Europe will be too hot to live in. As temperatures soar and sea levels rise, the verdict from the world's leading climate scientist, the human race, guilty of global warming. I've often heard it said that there is a consensus of thousands of scientists on the global warming issue and that humans are causing a catastrophic change to the climate system. Well, I am one scientist and there are many that simply think that is not true. The IPCC, like any UN body, is political. The final conclusions are politically driven. This claim that the IPCC is the world's top 1,500 or 2,500 uh, scientists you look at the bibliographies of the people and it's simply not true. There are quite a number of non-scientists. And to build the number up to 2,500, they have to start taking reviewers and government people and so on, anyone who ever came close to them. And none of them are asked to agree. Many of them disagree. Those people who are specialists but don't agree with the polemic and resign, and there have been a number that I know of, uh, they are simply put on the author list and become part of this 2,500 of the world's top scientists. People have decided you have to convince other people that since no scientist disagrees, you shouldn't disagree either. Uh, but that, whenever you hear that in science, that's pure propaganda.